been telling you about these documentaries on Hulu and Netflix, these dueling documentaries that tried to beat each other out uh, about the famous Ja Rule fire festival that we were all uh, amused by when a bunch of kids got stranded on an island because they were just chasing whatever it is that looks good on Instagram. And I want to tell you about like a story in there that was just totally shocking to me. And I don't know how to tell the story, but anyone who's seen it will know the story I'm talking about. There was a guy who was ready and willing to do an unspeakable thing to save the festival in exchange to just get rid of some taxes. And he admits it on air and tells the story with some delight. I'll see how I can talk around it in a second. But the reason I was reminded of it is because... Chris and Billy in the back room are not that far removed from these millennials that I judge, that I enjoy watching movies to judge. (laughs) And what just happened here in the back room where uh, Chris has a tummy tummy ache and, uh, of course, he knows where to go. Where do you go, Chris, when your your tummy's a little, you know, there's a little gurgling in there? Well, I didn't even go anywhere. I just said it out loud in the room and all of a sudden Billy springs into action. Oh, I have Alka-Seltzer. He pulled out a whole kit. A whole bag. He's like, what do you need? Extra strength? Regular? How is it? And I feel great. I feel comforted. <laughs> Not Billy. It's Walgreens to the right of Chris. <laughs> uh, he is. He is. He, what are you What are you not scared of? Like, what is it that you're prepared? At your every anxiety produces, like you are, you have cost CVS money because of those giant receipts that you bring here and just paper because of the amount of things that you do to try and soothe your fear. I mean- I could always not have Alka-Seltzer, and then Chris would have a tummy ache, and he'd be irritable, and this wouldn't be a fun day for everyone. So you know what? I said, hey, my stomach hurt a while back. Let me just leave the Alka-Seltzer work in case someone else has a stomach ache. I feel like a thank you is in order, and that's not what I'm getting right now. Very nice of you. I look down for three seconds. There is emergency. All right. Vicks Vapor Rub. <laughs> Lemon scented. Vicks oh, nice. Vapor Rub. Nice. Nice. Yeah, Vicks Vapor Rub at work <laughs> under his desk. <laughs> it, there's a pharmacy back there. and it, uh, But tell me this isn't the difference between Chris and Billy. Under his desk, the things that cure illness. Under Chris's desk, the cheese that's been there for a year that causes it. <laughs> Delicious. Did you actually eat the cheese that had been under your desk for a year and a half? The blue cheese, because I read that you could let that age. <laughs> Perhaps that's the cause of the tummy ache. Uh, you, you know, when I when I go on trips, I have to think, hey, what medicine might I need on this trip? Exactly. So I have a bag. I used to have like one of those the uh, those little pill things that you you separate by day, and I don't really have any medication I take every day, but I use them to divide the different medications I might need on this trip. Hmm. So, all right, you know what? Just shut up for a second. Just shut up for a second, it wasn't please. Done, though. Um, I am going to make an executive ruling right here because it puts me in a losing position to always go to the joke of sending Billy out of the room when he gets to his yammering. I am giving that executive power now to Roy. Roy. You are the one who decides when Billy gets kicked out of the room. You, at any point, can say $2 and get him out of here. I don't want that power anymore. I want, it out of, That's I, I want it out of my life. I, sometimes it's two minutes. Sometimes it's $2. You get out of here. What? You get out of here now Whoa! so I can do the damn show. Whoa! I'm trying to change the rules around here, all right? So can we make that deal? Roy's get out of here. I thought it was Roy's decision. Get out of here. No, it's Roy's Thank decision you, on Billy, not on you. So let's do that from now on. Thank you, Dan. Uh, long, however, expand your attention span, young people. So, this is what I wanted to ask Allison and Billy as this flight of neuroses leaves for the Super Bowl. They're both going to the Super Bowl so we can make a mockery of Super Bowl Radio Row Week. And we've never sent this kind of man and woman power, <laughs> uh, terrified though it may be, together anywhere to go conquer the world. They're going to be doing it at the Super Bowl. Last time we did it, Mina Kimes was on a zip line giving her analysis. And we're going to ask everybody, as we do every year, what's the single most important thing that the Rams have to do to beat the Patriots in the Super Bowl? But as Allison and Billy planned this, <laughs> Billy just learned something that was hurtful and shocking to him. Hurtful and shocking. Listen to this. All right, so we're leaving next week, and we're going to be at Radio Row, as Dan just mentioned. And I said, Allison, let's coordinate our flight so we can go up, because I'm, I'm not, this might surprise you. I'm a nervous flyer. I'm not a big fan of flying. I know this is probably something that's earth shattering. So I said, you know what? Let's coordinate our flights. This will be fine because I also don't like the airport. So I'm talking to Allison and she goes, oh, by the way, I'm not sitting next to you. I called the airlines and I paid $60 to move so that I'm not sitting next to you. (laughs) 
<laughs> wow. wow, right, Roy? Wow. That, that's sixty dollars. Not even like the company is paying this. She no. out of pocket has right. paid to not sit next to me on an airplane. Yeah, I can't. I the thought of it is giving me anxiety. The thought of being near you for any of this, and just going through your medic medication below here, I started to think about it. I'm like, thank God I bought a different seat. I'm wondering how high the price change would have had to been for you to say no. That's a great question. I am wondering. That- I would have gone pretty high. I mean, fifty nine seems annoying to pay to move up, and I was like, you know what? All right, I'm going to do it. It's worth it. When did this happen, though? Because this we... happened a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> Were you never going to say anything? <laughs> you know, I'm telling you now. Well, how I... did? Well, how? Why did? How did it come up? She just in the middle because she had a Sean McVay take. So I told I told you she has a Sean McVay take. I told you she used to have a fantasy baseball team because she was talking about that earlier. And then she said something like, "I hate you. I can't stand you. This is why I paid sixty dollars to get away from you." <laughs> You should upgrade to sit next to her now. That's what I said. Yes. I'm asking her seat. Yeah, was, Billy, I don't know if you know this. He's super cheap. He's definitely not going to pay $59 to move. Listen no to way. this. Listen to this. Listen. To, you want to know how super cheap is? I'll tell you how super cheap Billy is. We'll get to Allison's McVay take in a second. But when we signed our contract extension, I told Billy, and just Billy. I didn't do this with anybody else. I just told Billy, you go out and have a wild night out on me. And just send me the bill. I got the bill. $59. That's a hell of a night. And you definitely were like, spare no expense, take your girl out, limo. Like, And we had a side bet. What do you think Billy's going to do? What was the side bet? You didn't well, tell you me this. I, we, what do you mean? You and I had a side bet. What do you think he's going to spend? We talked about this. And what, what? how did that go? We we thought it was going to be under 100, which he did. I but thought you, you were, guys had a side no, bet. I thought you yet. guys were like no, betting you and on had a side what bet. he would do. Yeah. What did you do? I went out to a restaurant and I picked, you know, something that I thought was moderately priced. I didn't want to go too hard. And then, you know, had dinner and we went back home. That's it. <laughs> Where'd you go for dinner? Chili's? Uh, good chili. Oh, man, I didn't go to Chili's, but two for 20. Oh. It's up now to like two for 22. I don't know why Get they raised two. Do- yeah, two Sorry. for 20 is now two for 22. What did you do? I went out to uh, to Brickle. I went to Dolores. You can call me Lolita. And I had a nice evening. There. It was a nice little dinner. Did you have, you didn't have any drinks. You didn't have a single drink because in Miami, one drink costs $59. Yeah. I think I may have had one, but I didn't want to get too crazy. So, I, you know, you have to set limits right. to yourself. You have to go yeah. home and get your Alka-Seltzer. I know.